Well, it was a beautiful beach day, but some beachgoers were told to stay out of the water. Scarborough Beach in Narragansett was still closed to swimmers this morning, and at this hour, half of that beach is still under a no swimming order. And that's because of high bacteria levels in the water. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian joins us now live from Scarborough on the beach's condition. Kim? Well, Mike and Shannon, no doubt there was no better place to be today than right here at the beach. But here at Scarborough, as you said, swimming has been restri restricted to half of the beach since this afternoon. The Department of Health blames bacteria. It's very strange seeing, you know, midsummer and nobody on the beach in Narragansett, Rhode Island. I've never seen it like this before. An eerie sight in Narragansett Wednesday morning. Empty parking lots and bare beaches at Scarborough after a no swimming order was put into place. High levels of the bacteria Enterococci were detected in the water, prompting the Health Department and the Department of Environmental Management to keep beachgoers out of the waves. But just before 1 o'clock... Swimming is now open at Scarborough North between chairs 1 and 7. The south end will remain closed per the Department of Health. Thank you for your anticipated cooperation. Half the beach was reopened to swimmers after the Department of Health said testing showed bacteria levels were back to normal. So a sense of relief when you heard that you could go in the water? Yeah, because, you know, when you lay in the sun, it's nice to be able to walk into the water and cool off, you know. The minute you hit that water, your temperature comes down. And it certainly has been a hot day here at Scarborough. A reminder, though, at this time, the south end of the beach is still closed to swimming. That portion of the beach has a little bit shallower water. It's more protected by a sandbar. Of course, we'll let you know if and when they do reopen that portion of the beach to swimming. Now, coming up new at 6, we'll take a look at how often beaches are closed due to bacteria and what this means for the state's bottom line. For now, reporting live in Narragansett, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News. At 6, half of Scarborough Beach in Narragansett remains under a no swimming order. Now the Department of Health says it's because of a high level of bacteria in the water, so we wanted to know how often this happens and why. Eyewitness News reporter Kim kalunian has been at Scarborough all day. She joins us now live with what she's learned. Kim? Well, Shannon and Mike, this is the second time this summer that at least part of Scarborough Beach has been closed to swimming. Right now, half of the beach is back open to swimmers, but the cause of this particular spike in bacteria is still a mystery. Swimming is now open at Scarborough North between chairs 1 and 7. An early afternoon announcement. Half of Scarborough Beach back open to swimming after high levels of bacteria return to normal. The Rhode Island Department of Health says it's usually heavy rainfall that causes elevated levels of enterococci bacteria, which the EPA says is a possible indicator of fecal waste but can be caused by other sources. The Department of Health tests for it twice weekly at beaches like Scarborough. We looked at data from the past 19 years and found beach closures due to the bacteria spiked in 2003 with more than 500 closure days and more than 16 inches of rain. Now with state municipal stormwater improvement projects, beach closures have been on the decline in recent years. Last year, beaches were closed for 135 days. This year so far, 79. The beaches closed most often were freshwater lakes and ponds. The Department of Health says the cause of the Scarborough bacteria spike is still under investigation since heavy rainfall hasn't been an issue in recent days. And another side effect of beach closures, the economic impact. The Department of Environmental Management estimates between three and 5,000 people come to Scarborough on a typical summer day. Add together those beach fees and other spending, and that is a lot of revenue lost on a day like this. Reporting live in Narragansett, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.